Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Engage Tutorials. Welcome back to another video and in this video I got a pretty awesome tutorial here for you today on how to actually increase or boost your FPS in Daisy standalone. Now I know Daisy standalone has a bunch of optimization problems so this will definitely help your system run better as it helps mine and it helps my friend. So uh, I definitely know this does work. So before we get into it, if you guys wouldn't mind dropping a like down below it would help me out tremendously. But uh, let's go ahead and hop right into it. So the first thing I want to show you guys, this is for people only with NVIDIA. Don't worry, this is not the main part of the tutorial, but this actually does help. If you go to uh, NVIDIA Control Panel, and once NVIDIA Control Panel actually loads up, if you go to Manage 3D Settings and then go to Program Settings and find the game, uh, for example, DayZ or any game rather, and if you scroll down, you should see something called Power Management Mode. That is set on Use Global Setting Adaptive Set it to prefer maximum performance because it uh, it takes full potential of your card and increases stuff quite a bit. But that was just a quick tip. Now let's actually go ahead and get into the real stuff. So starting off, go ahead and open up your Steam. If you bring your Steam over here, uh, find DayZ, right click on it, go to Properties. And then once you're in Properties, as you can see here, you want to go ahead and set Launch Options. Go ahead and click that, Set Launch Options, and you'll see nothing in here. Okay, so uh, this should actually be, be set to 4. Um, this will be down in the description, and I'm going to show you how to edit it. So CPU count equals 4. Uh, if you have a dual core, you put 2. If you have a quad core, which most people have, you put 4. And if you have a octa core, you put 8. So... There's that. All this will be down in the description. Don't uh, remember that. Um, the next thing is this no splash, which actually removes the Bohemia uh, interactive splash page. So it actually just automatically starts up the game. You don't have to wait for that. And no, no pause, which will help you get into a game faster. And this is all safe. Don't worry about it. And finally, we have dash max mem. Now, for this, there will be in the description as well uh, with with your amount of RAM. If you have two gigabytes, you put two thousand forty-eight. If you have four gigabytes, you put four thousand ninety-six. And if you have eight gigabytes, you put eight thousand one hundred ninety-two. And if you have sixteen gigs of RAM, you put sixteen thousand three hundred eighty-four. And if you have thirty-two gigs, I'm not really sure. You'll have to Google that. But uh, there is that. Once again, that is in the description. Click OK and close out. And then when you start up Daisy, you won't get a splash screen. It'll start up faster and just overall help performance of launching. Now, let's get into the configuration files. So if you go to your documents, oh, that is pictures. If you go to your documents here, um, you will see Daisy. And then once you're in the DayZ folder, you will see this DayZ CFG file. Go ahead and edit that. You can edit it with Notepad. Just go ahead and open with and hit Notepad. I already have it set for Notepad. And you'll see these codes here. And what you want to edit in here is GPU max frames ahead. Yours will probably be at 1,000, I think it is. I'm not sure of the original number. Set it to 1. Whatever it is, set it to 1. And then you'll see under that GPU detected frames ahead. Once again, set it to 1. These will greatly help... Uh, improve performance in DayZ standalone. So once you have that, once you have those settings set to one, go ahead and hit File, Save, and you can exit out. The next thing you're going to do is go into your DayZ profile. So you should you should see your DayZ profile here, uh, profile file, and it should have your name. Go ahead and edit it. So we're just going to open it, and you should see all this here. Now what you want to do is find the following um, the following the following codes that are in the description scene complexion uh, what you can do is actually go to edit and hit find and you can just type in for example scene complexion or complexity sorry as you can see scene complexity hit find next and you'll see scene complexity here This number should be set at 300,000. If you set it from 50,000 to 20,000, it can improve your performance uh, significantly. So I set mine to 100,000. You can even try 50,000. You know, it's just all about experimenting. And if something doesn't work, if you don't like something, come back and uh, set it to the way it was. So we're going to set this to 100,000. 
Um, the next thing we're going to look for is shadow Z distance. And once again, everything will be in the description. Shad shadow Z distance. I believe that's it. Yep. Oh, it was right under it. So I think everything's right here. Yeah. Um, you'll see, you'll see shadow Z distance. Mine is at a hundred. I believe I changed it. I'm not sure. I believe the default is 250. So just make it lower. You can test with it. Uh, the lower the number, the more FPS you're going to get. So I have mine set at 100. I think that's pretty good for now. Um, so there's that. The next thing we're going to change is view distance. View distance is set at 3000. Now, obviously this is your view distance. So if you set it below 1000, that'll probably mean that you won't be able to see, uh, see things far away. You won't be able to see enemies or anything like that. Uh, coming in so it it, it kind of messes your game up. Um, I have mine set to 3000 I don't know if that's a default if it is We're gonna try 2500 you can just change it around to 3000 if it's not already at 3000 or make it even lower now the lower this number is You will see increased performance, but remember don't go under 1000 because You'll probably not be able to see players far away So I want to set mine at 2500 just see how that is experiment with it, etc. And the final thing that we're going to be doing is uh, the preferred object view distance. Now this is affecting the distance in meters where the engine will draw objects. And once again, a lower number will greatly improve performance. So we're going to actually set this to 1000. So we're going to put that at 1000. And once again, if it's something that you don't like, you can come back and change it so we're gonna save that hit save and even if you before you do this so before you do this I'd recommend making backup files in case you don't remember the original files which I didn't it's not that big of a deal everything works for me um, you can come back and set it to default uh, later but if you want to go ahead and just copy these for example we can go ahead and copy them and if you paste them You'll have them there as backup, put them in a backup folder, etc., or name it uh, dot back, and uh, you can keep it in the same folder. So um, that is it for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Let me know if this helped you out. It should help you a little bit. Obviously, Daisy standalone is not optimized correctly, so it's not going to fix everything entirely, but it should definitely help. And also make sure to change up your settings in-game if, if you're still receiving the same type of performance but once again guys that is it i hope you did enjoy if you are still watching to the end which i hope you are let's do special word of the day and today's special word of the day is config c-o-n-f-i-g so put config in the comments below and until next time guys i will see you in another video